All right, everybody, how we doing? I got this this pop filter all up in my face right now. I need to redo this setup. But anyways, we're gonna do a little tutorial with my Barry Manilow voice over here. How you doing? Um, over the Sons of Odin bundle, just a quick little boom, boom, boom. This will be a quick one, I promise. If it's not, I'm gonna just delete it. Anyways, Sons of Odin, say a bunch of y'all probably have like either a little shed or in the garage, probably like four different kinds of hatchets and axes, just random sharp objects in there, collecting rust that you could engrave on. Now, the Sons of Odin bundle, right here on my website, I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up one of their axes or their hatchets and then um, a few other things. But you don't need the Harbor Freight one. If you got a bunch of Hatchets laying down. I, I swear I probably got like three of them down there. That is my email notification. How you doing? You're a trip. What up? So basically what we're going to do, I'm going to show you real quick. Because in the sons of freaking cars, got another email. If you're emailing me right now, I'm making it a tutorial, bro. Can you chill? So as I was saying, if you got a hatchet, like one of you guys just sent me a message on here. Asking if you can apply the Sons of Odin bundle uh, to your hatchet. The one, the random one you got laying around like this one. I was like, yes, you can. Yes, sir. Let me show you. Because I include, you see here, the standalone scrolls outside of the... Because uh, every freaking hatchet in the world is going to be different. The same goes for the hammer that I included. Um, you know, Even the molds of the same make and model from the same store are going to be a little bit different. And so that's why I included the, the scrolls. So what you're gonna want to do, I went ahead and did it here just to save time, but I made a template for this random garage hatchet right here, okay? So once you make your template, you are going to wanna grab one of these right here, and copy and paste it. Never work in the source document. So this is a new document. I'll lay this out right there, okay? And position it where you want it. We'll make it a different color. Well, that ain't gonna work. Green, let's go green. All right. Now, here's the trick, and I'm gonna teach y'all how to use the clipping mask tool. Um, it's a superpower. A lot of y'all are gonna get really confused, probably, but if you practice with this with single shape uh, templates, like this hatchet, it's one single piece. If you start doing multiple pieces, that's a whole other uh tutorial in itself and so just uh for now single piece um templates like the red outline we have here okay and then once you have the scrolls positioned where you want them you are going to grab um what i would do is i would leave the template behind like that let's go ahead and make a white fill not fill as in fill, Mr. I just bought a laser fill, but the fill as in the color of the uh, background template. Copy, control C. Now click off um, and then control F. And that paste in front, so like in the other tutorials that went over. Go ahead and remove the fill. You see how it's on top there. It's looking good, looking sexy. Let's go ahead and select the template you just copied and pasted on top. Copy, copy it again, so click on it, Control C. Hit Control F one more time. Now go to your color swatch, and go ahead and flip that to the fill, just so you don't click on the wrong thing. And it'll do that. Now, select that, you just swapped around. That's what that arrow does, is it flops around between the stroke and the fill. So with the this selected right here, this red shape, hold shift and select the green scrolls. What that does is it allows you to select more than one object. Right click, make clipping mask. I'll do that again. So you click that, click the shape, click the green, right click on your mouse, this menu pops up. You'll see where it says make clipping mask. Click that, boom. And what that does is it, uh, that, that's what it does. I don't know what you call it. 
Now what I do now is I'll select the template in the back behind the green. So it's the one that we had earlier um, that we made an extra copy of that we used for the shape. So I just select right here. So like after you make the clipping mask, you see how that's on top? Well, you want the template on top. So select the, the red right here, control C, click off of everything and control F. And that gives you that nice defined border. I'll go ahead and change the color of this again. Now, um, in the clipping mask, if you want to reposition or, um, yeah, if you want to manipulate this standalone scrolls in there, all you need to do is, there's two ways to do this. You can double click on the scrolls and it'll enter you into the isolation mode. And uh, if you see up here at the top left or the top bar, basically it'll end like the, the ghost realm. So it fades everything out and you'll know you're in isolation mode because of this top bar right here. You see where it says layer one clipping group up here. And um, that'll allow you to, if I want to rotate it, or scooch it around, or make it bigger, whatever, whatever you feel like changing because you didn't do it right the first time, or if your wife comes in and says, move it to the left a little bit, you know, and you got to make her happy. Also, be sure to show her the coloring book that I'm working on. And to exit, exit the isolation mode, just double click off of the artwork. And then, oh, whew, we're back. We're not in the upside down anymore. Another way you can do this is if you select like the scrolls here, select it, right click, isolate selected clipping mask. Boom, we're back in the ghost room. What the fuck, man? So there we go. We clicked out of there quick. We only, get, we only caught up in that too long. And so with this garage hatchet, we have that there. And that looks good. Now when you're ready, um, like if you're using different colors like I am uh, and you want to just kind of simplify your process and get into this habit. So before the six step prep, let's go ahead and click on this little wheel up here and it's the recolor artwork. Now when this pops up, you may not get the advanced menu. So let me see if uh, what the default is. Okay, so you'll get this and you're like, what the fuck man? So just click on advanced options at the bottom It'll pop up with this. Check this box right here. Open advanced recolor artwork dialog on launch. That's a mouthful. This is the what I prefer to use instead of the other one. And then what you want to do here, you see, this is another way to see how many colors and stuff and what we got going on with your design. So with you gotta have it so you gotta select all of it. So just like let me go back here. Because there's stuff I do like this and I, I just forget to tell y'all. So once we are ready. Uh, drag, click and drag a box around the whole garage hatchet artwork. Go back up to this wheel, advanced options, click that box if it's not clicked, and then it'll automatically open this every time. You see here we got three colors, red, black, and white. Let's go ahead and make the, the, uh, the red black, just so, you know, less colors, less whatever, before we go into the six step prep. So you want to make sure like since that's the first color that popped up, you don't have to do anything, but you make sure the red selected like that. You see how it's kind of highlighted and then go down here to this bar and let's drag it to black. And it's got like the live preview on so you can see that it did it and they hit okay. Now you want to drag a box around everything. Um, file new create. Copy, paste, click off. Now you'll probably see like these like lines right here. It's like, what the hell is that? And they'll just basically show you the artwork, like in an x-ray vision of the uh, scrolls that are masked out that you can't see, but it's showing you that they're still there. Um, and then we can get rid of those pretty easily. All you need to do is drag a box around everything and now we'll run through the six step prep. Go to object, expand appearance, object, expand. All right, nothing popped up that time. Pathfinder tool, merge, double click, magic wand for one color.
select, inverse, delete. Double check, one color, no stroke, no anomalies. Let's uh, double check by uniting. We're good. All right, that's what's up. So that's ready. File, save as AI8. All right. AI8. Okay. Let's go over here to our little snazzy easy cat. Uh oh, my dongle. Drag it over here. File, import vector file, untitled dupe. Garage, hatchet, easy can, proof of life. Let's hatch it for good measure. Boom. Easy as pie. So all the hatchets in your garage. There's probably one of y'all with like 10 of them. I guarantee you, one of y'all is gonna be a hoarding. It's like every hatchet you've ever honed in your entire life, you've just held on to. Which is nothing wrong with that. Fun fact, if you go to kill a copperhead and you wanna use uh, an axe like object, don't use a hatchet um, because the copperhead will immediately latch onto the hatchet and then before thinking, your dumbass will fling the hatchet in the air and then you realize, oh shit, I just threw a hatchet in the air and now there's a snake, a poisonous, venomous snake in the air and there's people here around me and I'm an idiot and just watching it in slow motion as they fly away and they're like, I'm a retard. So if you're gonna kill a hatchet with a blade or kill a snake with a blade, don't use a hatchet, use a longer object like, I had this pulled up right here. Look at one of these guys, look at this guy. He's like, holy shit. I was, uh, I was looking to here, I was trying to figure out some ideas before coming on here. This guy is like rethinking his life choices. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know about this until I was looking before making the tutorial. They're hitting the, the roof with the back of the axe. So if someone's head's right there, like when they're stuck in the attic, like in a hurricane, you don't ax them in the forehead. You just hit them with a uh, blunt object. <laughs> but I, I was gonna show you all this because you can do it. It doesn't have to be a hatchet. Um, I mean, shit, it doesn't really have to be anything, to be honest with you. It could be, um, Whatever you want. That's the beautiful thing about the standalone artwork that I include in these bundles. And I also have other bundles in my store that have the standalone artwork outside of templates so you can also utilize like this. Um, and it makes, you know, life a little, a little easier. Um, but yeah, so there's that simple, um, quick little tutorial on how to show y'all, you know, how to use the, uh, the clipper mask. Um, and yeah, so now everybody, I want y'all to leave your desk, walk to your garage, and rummage through all your shit and find all your hatchets and then have fun with it. And if you don't have the Sons of Odin bundle, it's in my store. Maybe you should go check it out, have some fun. You know, everybody's got freaking hatchets laying around, dude. I guarantee you, all, every single one of y'all has a hatchet somewhere. And if you don't, Go ask your neighbor. Maybe he's got a bunch of hatchets he doesn't use anymore. Be like, I'll, I'll make you a custom hatchet if you give me all your hatchets. And he'll be like, why does this guy want all my hatchets? Better not be killing snakes with them. That's a true story, I swear to God. Y'all can ask Nick, my buddy. He was there, he saw it happen. I'm not proud. But yeah, there you go. Clipping mask, hatchets, have fun. <laughs>